Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. We'll do one more example on how to find out the rank of a word in dictionary if there is a repetition of letters in the word. Let's take for example what's the rank of success. So we know that whenever we want to find out rank of a word, first we have to write the letters in alphabetical order because we see that whenever we open the dictionary, we see the words are in alphabetical order. So we start with A, we move towards Z, A to Z. So first we'll write down success. What are the letters there in alphabetical order? So I'll start. A, B, C, I have C there. So I'll write down C. After that, another C. A, B, C, D, E, I have E there, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S. We have three S, so I'll write down three S. O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, at the end we have U. So how many letters are there in success? Success is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven letter word. So what's the problem we are trying to solve? If you take the letters of the word success and try to put them in alphabetical order to form the words which can be meaningful or maybe meaningless. What is the rank of the word success when you put them in alphabetical order? So what is our approach? What we will do, first we will write them in alphabetical order. Then we will see how many words can be formed starting with a particular letter. And that's how we will try to find out the rank of the word success. So first, if I put them in alphabetical order, the first words will be starting with C. And I know success starts with S. So I'm not at all interested in the words which are starting with C and E. I'm interested with S. So let's quickly try to find out how many words can be formed by starting with letter C and E respectively. For that, what we will do? Total there are seven slots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven slots. And we are starting with C. So six slots to be filled. Six slots to be filled with by which letters? Six slots to be filled by C is fixed. We are starting with C. So C is fixed. Remaining letters are C, E, S, S, U. So these six letters should occupy these six slots. Now, how many ways we can do that? We know that that's equal to six letters to be arranged. So factorial six. Then I have to see, is there any repetitions? Yes, I see that S is repeating three times. So I will write down factorial 6 divided by factorial 3. We will see at the end what is this value. Okay, now C is over. Then we will go to next one. C is over. So we will go to next letter E. How many words can be formed by starting with E? Again, I have seven letters. E is fixed. Six letters to be filled. What are those letters? If I take E out, I have two C's. I have two C's and I have three S and I have one U. These six letters needs to be fixed into these six slots. So how many ways I can do that? Again, six letters. So factorial six. I have C's two times, so I will say factorial 2. I have S yes three times, so I will say factorial 6. That many words, we can form them. Now C is over, E is over. Then after that, we go to S. Yes, and we are interested in S. Yes. So the first thing what we do, we, we cut off S. Yes. Once I cut S, yes, you remember whenever you start with a particular letter, you will always go to alphabetical order again in that. 
so I have to go to S and C but I am interested in S and U I am not interested in SC so I want to complete all the words with SC SE SS before I move to SU so let's do that first we will write about SC so SC we are fixing S and C so slots to be filled are 5 S and C are already filled what are the letters that needs to be filled S and E are over so I will have C E S S U C E S S U these letters needs to be filled how many ways I can do that again 5 letters so factorial 5 divided by how many letters are repeating only S is repeating that is 2 times can I say factorial 5 by factorial 2 now next we will go to SE once SC is over then I will go to SE I want U so I am not interested in SE anymore so I will try to finish SE words also I will write down SE how many SE how many I can form if I take SE as fixed what is left out SE is fixed then I have C C S S U C C S S U C C S S U how many ways I can do that let me check that that is 5 letters factorial 5 divided by 2 C's are there can I say factorial 2 then afterwards 2 S are there can I say factorial 2 so we'll try to find out now till SE so we did see all letters starting all words starting with C are over all words starting with E are over then we got yes so we strike it off yes then we went to SC but we want SU so we completed all the words starting with SC we completed all the words starting with SU the next one will be the words starting with yes yes after that we will have yes you which we need so before that we'll try to calculate this so that we can put down values and we will erase this and go to the next step factorial 6 is 720 factorial 3 is 6 can I say 120 times 120 ways factorial 6 is 720 again factorial 2 is 2 factorial 3 is 6 so that is 720 by 12 that is 60 similarly factorial 5 by factorial 2 that is 120 divided by 2 that's equal to 60 then factorial 5 by factorial 2 into factorial 2 that is 120 by 2 into 2 that's equal to 30 times so I'll just try to summarize this and then after that we will go to SE then we have SS then we will go into SU so let's go to the next step we'll go to yes yes now because we have finished SC and SE we will go to SS let's see how many words can be formed starting with yes yes because we are not interested in them we are interested in SU so SS is fixed two slots are fixed remaining needs to be filled are five so five slots to be filled if SS is gone what is left out C C E yes and u how many ways we can do this again five letters so factorial five divided by any words are repeating c is repeating two times so we know that we have to divide by two factorial that is 120 by 2 which is equal to 60 so once we are done with ss the next step we go is to SU yes I want you so I will immediately strike it off I will come back to the first position I see C yeah C I have I'll stuck off I'll strike off C then I'll again see C that's good I will strike off that one too again I'll come back I see E again I'll come back I see yes that's good again I'll come back I see yes so I can strike off everything because 
if you start with SU, SU, CC, E, SSS are in the same order. So, the last word which we will be forming is S, U, C, C, E, S, S. In how many ways we can do that? Only one way. That's nothing but all are done. So, that's equal to 1. So, now let's go ahead and add what we got earlier to this one and find out. So, we have starting with C 120, starting with E 60. SC we have 60 and we have starting with SE 30. So, you add them 120 plus 60 is 180. 180 plus 60 is 240. 240 plus 30 is 270. 270 plus 60 is 330. 330 plus 1 is 331. So, if you add them, you will get the rank of the word success. If you take the letters C, C, E, S, 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 U in alphabetical order and try to form the words, the rank of the word success will be 331. So, only one important point we have to understand is that first we have to write them in alphabetical order. Second, whenever we reach to a letter which is already there in that particular order in the word what we want, we have to come back to the starting point, alphabetical order and start from there because that's how we see in the dictionary. So, that's another example of how to find out rank of a word when there is a repetition of letters like success. So, we'll do some more examples in coming days. Thanks for your time and support. Bye for now.